Let's move on to Royal Rumble. I'm actually interested in in both of your predictions for winners for both the men's and the women's side. Joel, do you have any like surefire predictions on who's going to win these matches? I mean, listen, if you're not picking Cody Rhodes to win the Rumble at this point, I don't know what you're thinking. No one else has really stood out as the men or the man, I should say, to walk out and win the Royal Rumble this year. Yeah, you could put Seth Rollins on there, but again, you attach Seth and Cody, and it's still the same this is the same game being played. Uh, I think Cody comes out. I think Cody wins from the number 11 spot because that's a number that has a lot of symbolism to him and to the dream. So uh, I guess we're going to find out on Saturday. As for the women? What, yeah, that's, yeah, what about the women? Yeah. Uh, I know there's a lot of talk of Rhea Ripley. I, I I don't think that the winner has been announced yet. And I don't know. The problem is I, I don't know who it is, but I don't think that that woman has been announced yet for the Rumble. That's that's interesting because, um, I mean, Becky got laid out. Bailey, I'm sure, will be in it. The damage control will be in it. Uh, but yeah, like it doesn't sound like Ronda's going to be in it, which is interesting. I guess that means she wasn't going to win. Uh, but uh, but yeah, that that's interesting that the person because I I feel like it's kind of like Rhea needs to be it, but it's it's only because there's no other young uh, younger talents who've gotten over like i know there's a lot of people who think live should win it uh there's some people who think raquel should win it i don't think raquel's over enough though I'm, I'm a big fan of hers but andrew men's men's and women's side what are you thinking for for winners here uh i think Rhea should win the women's side and on the men's side i mean you have cody obviously that like i hope it is cody and i hope that He's not booed and they don't do weird booking where it kind of, you know, hurts him in the in the storytelling. What do uh, you think it, of the video it, last night? Oh, it was great. He's fantastic, dude. I, Wait, I, is that a, but is I, that a video to get you fired up for him? Or is that no, a video to where to where fans are like, oh, gosh, we're tired of these Cody videos. <laughs> I, I, I'm a little tired of the Cody videos, but I, I, I think for Cody, it, it's listen, that crowd could go either way. Right. Uh something could happen. Someone could be eliminated. They have to be very careful how they position this. Also, who's number 30, right? Who's that big surprise? Who's the final four? A lot of that is going to play play in. I'm thinking it's going to be Seth and him. Uh, and, you know, I don't know who else you could put in. Maybe it, Gunter. I don't and... even know who's coming. Yeah. Well, we don't know. Where's Matt Riddle? Is he coming back? My you money's know? on Riddle. Back of the Rumble. Riddle coming back is... is you know, how's um, how's Orton doing? Is Cena going to be in the Rumble? I mean, there's so many things that they could do here. Uh, I just, I don't know. I, and I hope it works out for Cody. Or the other thing, there's 15 people they haven't announced, right? Is there anybody else that could be in that position? I mean, Drew McIntyre, you know? What about if they bring back the adult actor from Young Rock and he just pretends he's the Rock. Oh my so God. Dwayne do only has to come back for WrestleMania. He doesn't have to be in the Rumble. He wins the Royal Rumble and then Dwayne gets his match at uh, at WrestleMania. I think that's sweet. We never Young said Rock. it was Dwayne. We said the Rock. <laughs> and he yeah. The name on the contract says McMahon. <laughs> the name on the <laughs> Okay, do, do we get a Shane sighting here? You know, Shane kind of screwed up last year's so. Rumble. I hope, he shows. I hope Shane comes and wins. Yeah. Shane throws out Brock Lesnar to win the match to, as a oh, like. No. I'm gonna and, get and Cody at the same time. Year. And Cody at the same time. <laughs> so I think they've misplayed their hand here with Cody because I think they, I think if I'm reading the fans correctly, and Dave and Brian talked about this a little bit last night. I think the fans want Sammy to win this match. And so if Cody is in this match and we get to number 30 and Sammy doesn't come out as number 30, the fans may react poorly to this scenario. But if Cody was a surprise, if he was a surprise in this match, like we didn't know he was coming back, I think the fans would be fine with him winning. But I'm a little bit worried about the anti-Cody reaction if Sammy is not involved big time here begging fans to stop with the Sammy stuff, because I guarantee you when he goes home in February to Montreal and has a main event match with Roman reigns in what has been a culmination of a giant storyline, 
people are going to be like, oh yeah, no, that's much better. Cause he, he, he comes out hometown pop, his old yeah. music back. He's going to cut his hair, cut his beard. He's going to look like the Sami Zayn that you saw when he debuted in NXT. Oh, or man, I would love that. that. If you do that, every expectation of him being the guy at WrestleMania is suddenly gone and it's okay again. And we can do yeah. that. And then you retell the story of getting to potentially KO and Sammy versus the Usos for the tag titles at Mania. Do that. And I think all is forgotten and forgiven. I, I'm I with hate you. Sammy as the main event for WrestleMania. I don't, I don't think it's a Mania main event. And that's not a, a hit at Sammy. It's just, it's going to be so much more cathartic to see him do it at home. And that's a much better match for him, in my opinion. I'm definitely with you. I think that is a much better story to tell. And that is where I hope they're going as well. But it's just, you know, this whole manipulation of the crowd that they seemingly have to do. And I almost feel like Sammy got over a little bit more than they fully expected him to, to tell this entire story that you're explaining. So I am a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried of a hijacking here with the live crowd. And it's not like it hasn't happened to Cody before, right? Like that's the the tail end of his AEW run was 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 something similar. So I don't know, Andrew. Do you have any thoughts on you know the the possible crowd reaction to you think Cody's whether thinking, it's Cody? Oh God, it's, it's happening it's again. Happening. It's yeah. happening again. Um, I think they could they could do a good job with Sammy and make it not you know. I I I I think they they they're very aware of this. I'm sure. So they're going to do everything to kind of prevent the Daniel Bryan type moment, you know, that happened a couple of years ago. Um, I, I, you know, maybe Sammy does win. You know, you could do a, you could do something wacky where it's a double, both, uh, you know, it's such a blood feud between Cody and Seth that there, you know, something happens and they got double eliminated. Uh, and here comes Sammy and he won. Would people be very upset at that? Or, you know, you have Elimination Chamber. What's that Elimination Chamber match at that show? Yeah. You're obviously going to have these guys in that match. Uh, maybe maybe Sammy could win any challenges he doesn't get. And Roman says, listen, I'm not going to fight face you at WrestleMania, but I'll face you at Elimination Chamber. Or, or Cody, or you know what? Even better, Sammy wins. He says, you know what? I'm going to, I don't, I want to face you in my hometown of Montreal. They have that blockbuster match. You still have Cody win the Elimination Chamber, and you're good. You could do that. But then also. he's but then he's a dumb baby face for losing, though, to Roman. Okay, he's a dumb baby so face for losing. But they always are in WWE. So, so Adam <laughs> Pearce seems to love doing this thing lately, where if there's a title match or something going on, he's suddenly going to insert himself into it. Like last night, where if the Usos couldn't continue competing, then they're going to forfeit the match and therefore lose their titles. I have a feeling, and I know people have been talking about whether or not they split the heavyweight championships right now uh the way you get to it love it or not i don't care this is kind of how you get there you have roman reigns beat ko down so badly and maybe even that happens after the match after roman wins and sammy's standing idly by like i can't believe you did that that's awful once they jump sammy out that's when adam pierce is just like nope you went too far roman you absolutely went over the line i'm stripping you of one of these titles because of what you did to ko now that title is going to be up for grabs at the Elimination Chamber. These men who were the last six in the Royal Rumble, they're going to be Elimination Chamber for the WWE Championship. Roman Reigns, you can have your Royal Rumble winner at the uh, at WrestleMania. And that's that. Interesting. That's an interesting uh, scenario there. Uh, I like the creativity to that. Uh, okay, so one way I think they could do this is Sammy's in the match. Sammy's doing well. Roman comes out. Because Roman did say he's got like one job to do or something at, at the Royal Rumble, right? Was that the line that he used? Like you have one more job to do or something like that? One more thing? He 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 said it uh, at the at the end of his promo, um, and you know, not we don't want you on SmackDown. I'll see you on Saturday. He said something like that. And, and what I wonder is, is if Sammy's ripping and roaring through this match, and you you guys remember the Four Horsemen angle where uh, Sting was going to face Rick and Sting was part of the Horsemen and Oli's like, you know, no, dude, like it, it, it's the Horsemen. It's not you. You can't be, uh, you can't face Rick and then it turned him baby face. I wonder if Roman comes in and he's like, what are you doing? Like you're, you, you're supposed to make sure that, you know, that, that we get the way that we want it to be. And then Sammy is still trying to win and, and somehow Solo becomes the guy to, to make sure that he doesn't win. 
Uh, I think that because that they've been kind of leaning there and then maybe Jay's involved. Who knows? Like that, I think that will, will get the crowd really fired up. But ultimately, I, I don't think he can win the match because um, they that whatever, like what Joel is saying, whatever they set up for, for Montreal has to be pretty big. And I, I think a solo match between Roman and Sammy would set that place on fire. Not literally fire alarms to go off in that building like in uh, Joel's place. But uh, I, I think that would be like the bit like just an, an insane uh, reaction in that crowd. His final test was how Roman put it. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, final test. Uh, final final test. Yeah. Because did you remember that uh, Horseman angle with uh, Sting and Flair, where Sting got that match by I think he won the Future Shock tournament at Starcade, and then Oli was like, "What are you doing?" Like you know, and and then they kind of jumped Sting out of the Horseman. But that's kind of the way that I that I sort of see it is, you know, that Sammy uh, his faith faithfulness to the bloodline also means he shouldn't be winning matches to face Roman for the belt like that that shouldn't happen so yeah I think the big question right now is whether or not Sammy gets jumped out of the bloodline or if he plays smart baby face for a change and you know attacks the bloodline and effectively turns face in the process 